My name is Bruce Pearson. I am a photographer, and this is the show. It's all right next to us. The whole thing is, is that I haven't traveled much, and people think that you need to in order to get good pictures or variety. And if I didn't tell you otherwise, you would think I've been all, all over the world. And people always ask me, oh, where's this? Where was this? Everything in here is probably within a 10 mile radius, right? with the exception of two pictures. Depending on what's going on, what's happening, if you just look right outside and try not to see it as the same thing every time, it's just, everything changes all the time. Basically my mantra is, is it something worth seeing? If it's worth seeing, I'll take a picture of it. So when people ask me what I take pictures of, it's everything, but majority would be landscapes and, you know, macro. Macro photography is, in simple terms, close-up photography. It's like taking your eyes and just shrinking yourself down. You basically get a one-to-one -one perspective of whatever you're shooting. There's an image there called Balancing Act. It's, a, it's actually a thorn bush. It's not a flower, but the water literally glues itself anywhere. Gravity doesn't matter. It's just stuck to the flower. And I, I had a lot of fun with that. I was out there for four hours in the rain <laughs> taking pictures. So. I also learned on film for two years. Uh, if, if you happen to want, I don't like it <laughs> ever because it's not practical. But if you if you get a manual focus lens and a film camera, you will you will your mind will grind and it will be forced to learn how to make decisions that you don't normally otherwise do with digital. If you want to really get good at, at editing on the field and not take 5,000 pictures of a wedding, get a film camera and a manual focus lens and you'll quickly become frustrated, but you'll get better <laughs> quickly. So I almost always have to use Photoshop because what I try to do is I try to take the moment and bring a person into it on how I saw it, not how the camera saw it. And I'm not, I'm not exaggerating things I'm much. Like I'll, I'll try to bring out color and contrast according to what I experienced. So it's not just what the camera saw, it's it's to bring you to the experience of that moment. Like if you were if you weren't there, here's the second best thing. 